हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पुरुषोत्तम विश्वकर्मा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फिफ्थ चैप्टर इन द बुक मोमेंट्स द हैप्पी प्रिंस दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट अ स्वेलो एंड द स्टेच्यू ऑफ अ हैप्पी प्रिंस दिस इज बेसिकली अबाउट द लाइफ ऑफ हैप्पी प्रिंस एंड हाउ ही sacrificed his statue to his countrymen to his city people so let's begin the very first lines from the text the happy prince was a beautiful statue so what are we talking about about the happy prince a beautiful statue he was covered with gold his body was the statue was covered with gold leaves he was gilded with gold he had sapphires for eyes just like this this is sapphire in blue color for eyes his eyes were sapphires and a ruby in his sword and there was a ruby in the sword hilt why did he want to part with all the gold that he had and his precious stones now the story is why does he want to part with all those things wo unse chutkara kyu pana chahta hai alag kyu hona chahta hai apne gold se apne precious stone se like sapphires ruby we'll study in this chapter so let's begin the line by line explanation high above the city on a tall column the first line starts about the statue of the happy prince high above the city on a tall column there is a tall column stood the statue of happy prince ek bade se column pe unchai wale sthan pe uska statue lagaya gaya hai kiska statue hai this statue belongs to the happy prince he was gilded all over with thin leaves of fine gold he was covered he was gilded all over the body with gold for eyes he had two bright sapphires i have shown you in the picture sapphires his eyes are of sapphires and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt hilt means handle there is a large red ruby glowing on his handle one night there flew over the city a little swallow now another character enters in the story who is that character a swallow a little swallow a tiny bird who enters in the city one night his friends had gone away to egypt 6 weeks before his friends his relatives had already flown away to egypt and he was on his way to egypt but he had stayed behind because he was lagging behind then he decided to go to egypt to he had decided to go to egypt all day long he flew and at night time he arrived at the city all the day he flew hard and at night time he arrived at the city city of the happy prince where there was a statue of the happy prince where shall i put up he said put up here means to stay he asked himself where shall i stay i hope the town has made preparations he mockingly says humorously says i hope the town has made preparation arrangements for me to stay then he saw the statue on the tall column then he noticed then he looked at the statue on the tall column whose statue it was it was the statue was the happy prince i'll put up there he thought at once that he would stay there he cried it's a fine position with plenty of fresh air that place was a fine place with plenty of fresh air hawa achhi lag rahi thi kyunki unchai ki jagah ki jagah pe tha it was on a high place so he alighted alighted means descended just between the feet of the happy prince utar jata hai urte urte aake ruk jata hai just between the feet of the happy prince the statue of the happy 
प्रिंस आई हैव अ गोल्डन बेडरूम ही सेट सॉफ्टली टू हिमसेल्फ मन ही मन बोलता है मेरे पास तो सोने का बेडरूम है सोने के लिए सोने का बेडरूम He looked round and he prepared to go to sleep. He looked here and there, and was preparing to sleep. But just as he was putting his head under his wing, a large drop of water fell on him. As soon as he was going to sleep, he was about to sleep. He was closing his wings. He was putting his head under his wing. A large drop of water fell on him. What a curious thing! What a strange thing! He said, he cried, "There is not a single cloud in the sky. आकाश में कहीं बादल नहीं हैं. The stars are quite clear and bright. The stars are twinkling in the sky, and yet it is raining. How? Then another drop fell. At the same time, there was another drop. What is the use of a statue if it cannot keep the rain off? He said. अगर ये पानी की एक बूंद नहीं रोक सकता, तो इस स्टेचू का कोई फायदा नहीं है. I must look for a good chimney pot. He said that he must look for, he must search for a good chimney pot. Here you can see in the picture. This is chimney pot. He said to himself that he should look for, he should search for. A chimney pot where he could stay at night, and he determined to fly away. He resolved himself. He decided at once to fly away from there, from the feet of the happy prince. But before he had opened his wings, a third drop fell. He was about to fly at the same time. A third drop fell. Third drop of water fell. And he looked up and saw. Ah, what did he see? He was amazed. What he noticed, what he found, what was before him. The eyes of the happy prince were filled with tears. He noticed the eyes of the happy prince were filled with tears, and tears were running down his golden cheeks, and tears were coming down through the golden cheeks of the happy prince. His face was so beautiful in the moonlight that the little swallow was filled with pity, looking at the beautiful face of the happy prince who was weeping. That swallow felt pity. He was filled with pity. Who are you? He said. Swallow asked the prince. Who are you? I am the happy prince. The prince replied. The statue replied. Why are you weeping then? Ask the swallow once again. Ask the swallow. If you are happy, prince, then why are you weeping? You have quite drenched me. You have quite drenched me, soaked me with water. You have soaked me with water. तुमने तो मुझे भिगा दिया पूरा. Now, the happy prince tells his story. When I was alive. and had a human heart now he says when he was alive and had a human heart to kehta hai ki jab main jeevit tha aur mere andar bhi ek insaan ka dil tha i did not know what tears were i did not feel tears for i lived in palace he lived in the palace of the city where sorrow is not allowed to enter where Sorrow was not allowed to enter. My courtiers called me the happy prince. He tells that lovingly his courtiers, because he was very happy in his entire life, his courtiers used to call him the happy prince. And happy indeed I was. He tells actually indeed he was very happy. So I lived and so I died. And in the process, being human. he lived his life and ultimately died and now that i am dead they have set me up here so high that i can see the ugliness and all the misery of my city further he says because his countrymen have put up the statue at this place the statue of the happy prince 
he could see the suffering of the people the misery of the city and though my heart is made of lead a metal a hard metal yet i cannot choose but weep i can do nothing but weep he says he had no options at that time he had no options at present he has no option except weeping what is he not solid gold said the swallow to himself manihman bolta hai ye hai kya ye pura sone ka nahi bana hai is he not solid gold he was too polite to make any personal remarks but he was quite polite to make any personal remarks he did not speak it to the prince happy prince the statue of the happy prince now the happy prince says far away continued the statue in a low musical voice that statue spoke in a low musical voice far away in a little street there is a poor house what does he say he says far away there is a little street and in the street there is a house a poor house one of the windows is open और उस घर की एक खिड़की खुली हुई है एंड थ्रू इट आई कैन सी अ वुमेन सीटेड एट अ टेबल एंड ही सेज कि उस खिड़की से मैं देख सकता हूँ कि एक वुमेन एक महिला बैठी हुई है कहाँ पे ऑन द टेबल हर फेस इज थिन एंड वर्न सी इज क्वाइट वीक हर फेस इज थिन एंड वर्न आउट टायर्ड एंड सी हैच कोर्स रेड हैंड्स How are the hands? Coarse, rough, red hands, all pricked by the needle. All pricked. Ungli me sui chub gayi hai. Needle chub gaya hai. That is why the color of hand is red because of the pricking of needle. For she is a sea mistress. What is her profession? Her profession is sewing clothes for others. A woman who stitches. She uses. She is embroidering flowers on a satin gown for the loveliest of the queen's maids of honor. What is she doing now? That woman is trying to embroider. She is embroidering flowers on a satin gown for the loveliest of queen's maids of honor. जो queen की सबसे प्रिय नौकरानी है, उसको सम्मान मिलने वाला है, नई dress मिलने वाली है, and she is preparing the same satin gown. to wear at the next court ball that maid was going to wear on next court ball in next ceremony court ball ceremony because she was going to get honor in a bed in the corner of the room her little boy is lying ill in a corner there is a boy lying leta hua hai wo bachcha bimar hai he has a fever and is asking his mother to give him oranges और बीमारी में अपनी मम्मी से क्या मांग रहा है और इंजिस बट द मदर हैज नथिंग टू गिव टू द चाइल्ड द बॉय हिज मदर हैज नथिंग टू गिव हिम बट रिवर वाटर व्हाट सी हैज ओनली रिवर वाटर सो ही इज क्राइंग दैट इज व्हाई द बेबी द बॉय इज क्राइंग स्वेलो स्वेलो लिटिल स्वेलो विल यू नॉट ब्रिंग हर the ruby out of my sword hilt now the happy prince requests the swallow 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 little swallow i request you to pluck this ruby from my sword hilt and give it to that woman so that she could buy something for her boy for her child my feet are fastened to this pedestal raised platform pedestal here means raised platform and i cannot move i am unable to move that is why i request you to be my messenger take this ruby from my sword hilt give it to that woman you can see in the picture this is the picture of sea mistress sitting at a table and the, here the baby is lying I am waited for in Egypt. Swallow so was not ready to do whatever was being said by Happy Prince. So he said he made an excuse 
I am waited for in Egypt," said the swallow. "My friends are flying up and down the Nile, in talking to the large lotus flowers. Soon they will go to sleep." He says that all his friends have gone to Egypt, and flying over the Nile River and talking to the big lotuses. Soon they would go to sleep. The prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. The prince requested him to stay for just a night and to be his messenger. The boy was so thirsty. Further requested, the boy was so thirsty and the mother so sad. He said he requested. I don't think I like boys. Answered the swallow. Then, the swallow replied. I don't think I like boys. I don't like boys. I want to go to Egypt. मुझे तो बस इजिप्ट जाना है मुझे यहाँ रुकना नहीं मुझे इस सब से कोई लेना देना नहीं है But the happy prince looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry. Looking at the face of the happy prince, that swallow felt sorry for whatever he had done. उसको बड़ा दुख होता है It is very cold here, he said, but he agreed to stay with him. For one night and be his messenger, he said it was very cold there. And he agreed. Ultimately, he agreed. Who man? Yeah, chalo, bhai. Ek raat ki baat hai. Main tumhara kam kar deta hu. Lekin iske baad nahi. Thank you, little swallow. Said the prince. The prince thanked him. The swallow picked out the great ruby from the prince's sword. Then he picked out, plucked out the great ruby. Large ruby from the prince's sword, and flew away with it in his beak. He flew away with that ruby in his beak over the roofs of the town, and he was flying over the roof of the town. He passed by the cathedral tower, and in the way he passed by the cathedral tower. Cathedral here means church, church tower, where the white marble angels were sculptured. और उस टावर पे वाइट मार्बल एंजल्स सुंदर सुंदर मार्बल की एंजल्स बनी हुई थी ही पास्ड बाय द पैलेस फर्दर ही पास्ड द पैलेस पैलेस ऑफ द सिटी एंड हर्ड द साउंड ऑफ डांसिंग इन द पैलेस डांसिंग वाज गोइंग ऑन डांस प्रोग्राम वाज गोइंग ऑन सो ही हर्ड द साउंड ऑफ डांसिंग अ ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल केम आउट ऑन द बालकनी विथ हर लवर and there he also noticed a beautiful girl came out at the balcony with her lover i hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball and what does she says she says i hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball wo kehti hai ki mujhe ummeed hai ki meri dress ab ye usi dress ki baat kar rahi hai jo sea mistress bana rahi thi i hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball she said I have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it. मैंने कहा इस पे फ्लावर की कढ़ाई करने के लिए बट द सी मिस्ट्रेसेस आर सो लेजी लेकिन तुमको तो पता है ना ये सी मिस्ट्रेसेस आर सो लेजी बड़ी आलसी होती हैं ये आसानी से काम नहीं करती ही पास्ड ओवर द रिवर एंड सा द लैंटर्न हैंगिंग ऑन द मास्ट फर्दर ही पास्ड ओवर द रिवर एंड सा द लैंटर्न hanging on the mast what is mast this pole you can see in the picture is known as mast of the ships at last he came to the poor woman's house and ultimately he came to the poor woman's house and looked in andar dekha the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed the boy was turning feverishly karwate badal raha tha in his bed and the mother had fallen asleep At that time, mother had fallen asleep because of hard work. She was so tired. In he hopped, he hopped inside. वो उछल कूद करके अंदर जाता है because वो छुड़िया थी. And laid the great ruby on the table beside the woman's thimble. और जो बड़ा सा ruby था, उस woman के thimble. This is thimble. You can see the needle here. to keep the finger safe this thimble is used that is made up of metal 
Then he flew gently round the bed. He flew gently round the bed, fanning the boy's forehead. उस बच्चे के forehead को पंखा झलते हुए, हवा करते हुए, with his wings, ऐसे अपने पंखों से. Then the boy said, "How cool I feel!" said the boy. The boy exclaimed, "How cool he felt! I must be getting better. अब तो मैं ठीक हो जाऊँगा." And he sank into a delicious slumber. He sank into a sound sleep. He slept. Then the swallow flew back to the happy prince. Now, after doing all these things, after doing this kind of good work, he went back to the happy prince and told him what he had done. He told whatever he had done. जो भी काम उसने किया था जाके हैप्पी प्रिंस को बताता है कि मैंने ये काम किया इट इज क्यूरियस ही रिमार्कड स्ट्रेंज थिंग अभी मुझे ठंडी लग रही थी अब मैं गर्म महसूस कर रहा हूं इट इज क्यूरियस ही रिमार्कड बट आई फील क्वाइट वार्म नाउ ऑल दो इट इज सो कोल्ड इतनी ठंडी के बावजूद मैं अभी थोड़ी गर्मी महसूस कर रहा हूं द हैप्पी प्रिंस रिप्लाइड दैट इज बिकॉज यू हैव डन अ गुड एक्शन ऐसा क्यों महसूस कर रहे हो क्योंकि तुमने जीवन में एक अच्छा काम किया है यू हैव डन अ गुड एक्शन एक अच्छा काम किया वो इस चीज की गर्मी है सेट द प्रिंस एंड द लिटिल स्वेलो बिगेन टू थिंक एंड देन फेल अस्लीप और तब वो लिटिल स्वेलो सोचने लगता और उसकी प्रॉब्लम ये थी कि जैसे ही वो सोचना शुरू करता है थिंकिंग ऑलवेज मेड हिम स्लीपी जैसे ही सोचना शुरू किया वो सो जाता है remaining in next video thank you